Now, I have the pleasure of introducing Jerry Tayo, who has come to visit us uh, from uh, California today. He is the director of the National Latino Fatherhood and Family Institute. He's an internationally recognized expert in the areas of family strengthening, community mobilization, and culturally based violence prevention and intervention issues. I hope you'll join me and welcome Jerry Tayo. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Buenos dias. Yes. Uh, my grandmother would, would greet us in a different way in the morning. I, I was very privileged to uh, grow up with, uh, with grandmothers. How many grew up with grandma? Ever grew up with grandma? Yeah. Well, I actually grew up with two grandmas. My, my dad's mom and my mom's mom. Not at the same time. You don't put two grandmas together. Huh? <laughs> I don't care how spiritual and holy they are. No, no, no. And don't put them in the kitchen together because uh, they'll argue with their eyes. You know, they got their own recipes for stuff, and you know, so. <laughs> but I was real privileged to grow up with grandmas, and, and uh, my, my dad's mom was about that tall. And she was the tallest of the two grandmas. Because the one that lived with us the most was my, my mom's mom, and she was about that tall. And that's the one you needed to watch out for. She only spoke Spanish. Uh, well, she knew a couple of phrases in English, but they weren't the good ones, you know. I don't know why we always learn the bad words in the other language. Even grandmas do that, you know. So, so you know, when grandma went to English, she knew we were in trouble. You know, because uh, she would sometimes get her slipper and throw it from across the room. And she was pretty accurate uh, she, because we'd run from her, you know. And my grandma would always get us. But uh, when my grandma um, woke up, she was an early morning person. How many of you are morning people? So the rest of you are still asleep, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, truly, night people don't wake up till about 1 o'clock. But by that time, the morning people start to fade very quickly, right? So I'm talking to the morning people, and the night people are just kind of hearing me. But uh, anyway, my grandma was a morning person. And, and, and actually, you could, you could do an assessment of how, how our family was doing based on how early my grandma got up in the morning. Because she would get up to pray. And based on how early she got up to pray, you could tell how many problems we have in our family. Because the longer she prayed, the more problems we were having. So she'd get up real early in the morning, my grandma would, and, and she'd go and uh, begin to pray. And, and, um, and sometimes she'd stay there for a long time because we were you know, struggling or whatever was going on in her mind. And, but then after she would finish, and sometimes it would be like 5.30 in the morning. She would go to our room where all the kids slept. We all slept in one room. And uh, she would go and, and bless us. She would give us a blessing every morning. And I used to hate it. Because she would wake me up like at 5.30 in the morning. And she would have me, okay, yes, Grandma, why are you waking me up? I'm And she would tell, I'm just blessing you. Why, why can't you bless me later? <laughs> I was having a good dream. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I kind of tripped on it. Why, why, why do I got to get blessed every, I mean, am I that bad, uh, unholy, or what's, what's going on that I got to get blessed every morning, you know? And she would go and bless us all, all the kids, and every morning she would, you know, start off that way and just bless us all. And, and I said, well, what's going on in my grandma's head that she thinks we need to be blessed every morning, you know? And, you know, I've been doing this work for, for a lot of years, and, and, I, and I, wonder, I wonder how children would be different if every morning we came to them and just blessed them. I mean, I didn't understand back then, you know, what was in my grandma's head. And, you know, there was this, uh, I saw an Oprah, I don't know, over a year ago, they, they brought this, uh, there was this tremendous DVD and thing out called The Secret, right? The Secret, The Power of Intention. I'm saying, man, my grandma knew about the power of intention. She started with that intention. I intend for you to live your life in a good way. I intend for you to be successful. I intend for you to be healthy. I intend for you to be happy. 
My grandma had that intention. And when she touched us every morning, it was almost like she was inoculating us. She was putting this serum in us that regardless of what happens, you're going to remember. You're going to remember that every day I got up for you. That before I did anything, before I even fed myself, I got up for you. That before I thought about anything, my intention was for you. And every morning my grandma would wake up like that. And then she'd get up and, you know, the regular stuff goes, hurry up, come on, get up, let's go, get up. I mean, the regular stuff goes on. But at least you started out in a good way. 